Today in the news, we got an update on the overheating 7000 series and some weird AMD issues popping up in uh, Germany for the last generation of GPUs. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. So, AMD. Let's start with the update on the overheating RX 7000 series of GPUs. Let's break it down real quick. First, the reference models for the 7900 series, specifically the XDX model, had a significant amount of cards with defective vapor chambers. This defect causes something called vapor chamber dryout, which prevents the vapor inside the vapor chamber to turn back into water, and that causes the GPUs to throttle because, well, of the higher temperatures, and basically, you were losing performance because of the throttling. Then AMD's own Scott Herkelman responded to PC World about the specific controversy, saying this. We're seeing this weird temperature anomalies on boards that we make, and it was specifically XTX on made by AMD graphics cards. Uh, is there a performance uh, potential issue? And what we found is if you throttle at 110 degrees in certain workloads, you would see a small performance delta, and it all comes down to a small batch of our vapor chambers actually have um, an issue, not enough water and it's a very small percentage and so we said okay that's the root cause you spend a lot of money if you bought this XTX made by AMD we want to fix it for you we have the fix just call our tech support line if you bought it from amd.com or if you bought it from one of our AIB partners call them they have units we know how to uh, we know how to make okay. sure and identify that they're good and we'll ship it to you right away because we want you to have a great product obviously AMD is definitely trying to downplay this but at least they vowed to fix it I mean I just wish they were a little more honest because it was not a small performance delta. A lot of people said they lost about 20% in terms of performance and that it would make it slower than a uh, last gen GPU like a 6900 XT and some workloads. And saying it was a small batch, eh, I mean the amount of customers who spoke up was pretty big and AMD didn't ship nearly as many cards as Nvidia does. So there's that for the 7900 series. If you have one, make sure to contact AMD and get them to send you a replacement. Scott Herkelman said that they have stock, I'm not quite sure about that, but the most important thing is that you contact AMD. That should be your first priority. So what about the other issues AMD's having? Well, there's a repair shop in Germany that saw a pretty wild trend with last gen GPUs, specifically the RX 6800 and 6900 series. And this one is kind of wild. The shop is called ChrisFix and the owner made a video with a reference model 6800 XT. According to him, the card was never opened before and essentially the GPU die is toast. Everything short circuits. Now here's where things take quite the turn. He services a lot of GPUs. It's one of his specialties and something like a GPU die dying isn't usually the main issue. It happens but not too often. He said about 1 out of 10. But in the last 3 weeks he received 61 cards to repair. Specifically Navi 21 GPUs. So the 6800 and 6900 series. Out of the 61 GPUs 48 has the same issue with short circuits. He probed the same areas and the same results for 48 of them. So the GPU die was toast. Now, when someone sends in a GPU for repair, he always asks, well, what games are you playing? What software are you using? And what drivers are you using? And the only thing that was in common across all of those dead GPUs was the drivers. Specifically, the last GPU driver update posted on December 8th of 2022, the Adrenaline 22.11.2 update. Now, in the video, people noticed a shimmer on the die that looked like it could have a crack, so he decided to check again, and after disassembling the card for the first time, I mean, he reassembled it uh, after he saw that it was dead, and then he disassembled it again, well, the silicon straight up just cracked in half, leaving some on the heatsink and some on the PCB. Ouch. So what are the possibilities here? Well, first of all, a driver update actually could make something like that happen. Everything from, you know, power delivery, voltages, thermal throttling, and thermal limits can be enforced by the uh, drivers, at least for AMD, since their drivers can actually change certain registry entries, which have been pushed by the vBIOS on the GPU. AMD's GPU usually like dumps the vBIOS onto the OS, and then the OS boots with it. That's how some overclocking utilities like the More Power tool uh, bypass typical AMD overclocking limits. In the comments of that video, a lot of 
people reported coil whine when updating to this driver, which they didn't have before. That's odd to say the least. There's even a guy on Facebook who updated his driver to 22.11.2, played games, turned the PC off for some seasonal cleaning, and when he booted it back up, the GPU was dead. He disassembled it and probed the same area as the uh, repair shop and he had the same short circuits. One theory is that this was like a batch of GPUs that came from a miner and they were basically sold to the public and these are starting to drop like flies. But some people have bought them like a year ago um, and others more recently or you know further in time. Plus it doesn't really make sense since it seems to culminate with that specific driver update. I don't know. I mean it's anecdotal but it's still a case here. This story is is definitely going to develop over the next couple of weeks, so I'll keep you updated. But damn, 2023 is not AMD's year. Personally, I would try to avoid or at least roll back my drivers for a while to see if uh, more light is shed to this issue. Chris Fix did say that he plans on updating us on the findings, but you know, to have 48 cards die out of 61 uh, with the same issue and the same driver, well, it's certainly not a good look. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think it's anecdotal? Do you think there might be a bigger issue here? Do you think the drivers caused it? Let me know your thoughts down below. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's story. Uh, as usual, it's right here to see the latest video right here. To subscribe to the channel, it'd be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to stay frosty and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.